What is up, guys? Welcome back to Sky Odyssey 2 with Lone Debater 7. Uh, we are here over by the big reactor and our machines. Um, I'm just gonna get some more emerald ore going real quick. Um, just so we can keep increasing our EMC. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. I know it's been a while since I last recorded, and I do apologize, but um, got a little bit busy this uh, this July, so I I'm sorry, but also that's life, so deal. Uh, um, but yeah, so we are back in it. Um, I'm working on building a mob farm. I. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I did. I chose to use obsidian as my building material because, you know, that never causes problems, ever. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a good opportunity to try out these redstone conduits because I haven't ever used them before. So let me just build back on this wall. Um, yeah, I vein mined some obsidian because I had to mine a bunch of it uh, to kind of change this setup and couldn't be bothered. But yeah, so this one controls the mob masher, as you can see. Yeah, pretty cool. And this one actually controls the fans. Or it will. I still have to connect it up. But it will control the fans. Um, and the way it's going to do that, so this is inputting redstone, and then these are always on because they're redstone torches, and um, if I hook these up to it, when they get a signal, they will invert and essentially turn off. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Um, that way, if I ever have to go inside, do some maintenance, or what have you, um, I can simply just flip those switches and not have to run around the entire structure, um, which will be nice because, uh, yeah, I, well, why would I want to run around this after I set it up? Answer, I wouldn't. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do here, uh, the reason why it's, I'm going to at least double layer it, I might even triple layer it right off the bat. Um, because I want to start getting some XP drops, I want to start getting the mob drops, and kind of a mob farm is great for EMC as well, because all of those, like, useless drops that normally you're like, why in God's name do I have this, uh, you can actually use, um, for EMC, that is. But I guess the torches don't work, so we're going to try just regular old-fashioned redstone. See if we can do it this way. Because I really want this to work. Like, I've started on it now, and it's going to bug me if I can't get this stuff to work. So, I don't know if this is going to count. Let's just test it, I guess. And... I built the walls up all the way. I kind of did, huh? Okay. We'll take some dirt. That's easier than mine. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, that, well, those ones are on because I haven't taken out the torches, so. Well, might help if I connect this, right? Uh, okay. So now those are connected. And we're not going to jump in this time, because if we do, we will get stuck on that match and die. Um, but, yeah, so that's not working. So it does have to be on higher. Like I said, I have never played with these. And these mob bands, like, vector plates are so much better. But I don't want to mess with vector plates. I've almost always used mob bands. And I continue, and, like, that... That's what I'm comfortable with, I guess. So instead, let's let's chisel this some this. Well, I don't want to use dirt because I'm going to put in a drop of evil right here to make it produce a lot better. But I don't want to use obsidian for this little like 
support wall. Um, what could we use? We could use redstone blocks. I mean, why the hell not? What's a good looking one? Um, in case bricks. Sure. I use that one a fair amount, I would say. We'll place obsidian. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Winds. Oh, redstone actually probably isn't a good choice, huh? We will change this because redstone blocks actually output redstone, which I mean normally wouldn't be a big deal, but it kind of is this time. Um, what else could we use? We sure we'll just use this chiseled stone encased brick. Yeah, that looks decent, I suppose. I don't know. I mean, it's going to look kind of trashy. Besides, this isn't going to be our mob farm in the late game. We're going to build one from Woot because I like those so much better. They're a lot cleaner. They're a lot less laggy, I feel like. And, yeah, I mean, that's that's what we're really, really going for. Um, but, yeah, until then, we will make do with just a simple mob masher farm whatever setup and kind of go from from there um actually that kind of makes sense let's extend that we'll bring across sure i'm kind of just eyeballing this so it can be used and like i can just set up the second section without too much difficulty um yeah so I know you're probably going to roast me and be like, oh my god, that's so inefficient, what are you doing, why do you hate life, or whatever, but don't worry, I know there's better ways to go about setting this up, why are these not, do they, like, the fuck? What if I do it this way? Now it works, and it's powering two of them, what the hell? Okay, that's fine, we will do that, and now those are powered. Okay, well, I guess that's kind of good, we only need some of this horrendousness. Um, we, yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave that for now. Um, yeah. and then, for actually, since it kind of powers too, Bam, 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 bam. And I think that is all of them now. No, not quite. One more. Nope. Okay. He's going to be difficult then. What about you? Yep, you are too. Fantastic. Oh, God, this is why I hate redstone so much, so much. Red. Okay. Are you now power? Are you like content? Awesome. So you're about ready to go. Sure. And while we're here. Let's just do the upper level, get it done, get it ready, and we'll have a pretty good mob farm once this is all built back up, um, and I put my drops of evil in and stuff like that. This will be spawning really well. We've got a bunch of upgrades for the mob mashers that we're going to put in here as well, so um, when we come back, I'll show you the completed mob farm, um, but until then, please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, we'll see ya.